Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Trends. In this video, we can see how to do the live streaming using ESP32 Cam and Blink. Let's get started. The components required for this experiment are ESP32 camera board, FTDI converter, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log into the bling.cloud website and here go to developer zone and then click on new template. Here we need to create a new template. We can give the template name live video streaming. And here select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the done button. Now go to data stream and create new data stream and select the virtual pin. Here give the variable name as video and select the pin as v0 and data type as string and then click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard. Here we need to drag the video widget. Here go to settings and here we need to create the video data stream which we created. Here we need to enter an URL. So this we will enter after uploading the program to the ESP32 board. Now click on the save button. And now we can save the template. Now go to devices and here click new device and then click from template. Here we can see the template which we created and cl click on the create button. Now the template is created and we got the template ID, template name and authentication token. Now copy this and paste in your program. And now here we need to select our board. So I am using this AI Thinker board. So I have uncommented this line. So if you are using any other uh, board model, you need to comment this and uncomment the corresponding line. And then enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Now we need to upload this program to the ESP32 camera board. So for that, select the board from tools, go to board, here select ESP32 Arduino and here we need to select the A Thinker camera board. So this is the board, A Thinker ESP32 cam board. And now then we need to select the port and now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 camera board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 CAM board. Once the program is uploaded, we need to remove the wires which we connected from GPIO0 to ground. That is, we need to remove these two wires. Now after removing the connections from GPIO0 to ground, again open the program and open serial monitor. Then press the reset button from the ESP32 CAM board. Now in the serial monitor we will get an IP. Now copy this IP and open this IP in a web browser and we can check the output here. Also we need to paste the same IP in the blink template which we created before and go, we go to web dashboard and go to settings and here paste that URL and click on the save button. Now we can check the output from the web browser. Hope you like this video. Please like this video and subscribe to Tech Trends. Thank you.